take an in-depth look at all the new developments in computer hardware that'll affect games players everywhere. Come with us as we guide you through the maze of new formats that are set to hit the computer games world in the near future. All the major companies are launching new formats, most of them on CD. And surprise, surprise, they're all claiming that their 32-bit, 64-bit or multimedia machines are what you should be spending your money on. But what should you buy? Should you invest in the latest games machine or should you hang on to what you've got for now? We've been talking to the men in the know. Released on CDI last year, Microcosm is a game which uses stunning graphics to take you on a journey through the human body. The CDI still hasn't really taken off the way its inventors would like. But what exactly is this multimedia machine? The CDI is basically a CD player that plugs into your television set, but gives you a whole lot more. So it's CD plus video plus interactivity. Why isn't this a cheery place? Fun. This is the film of Star Trek VI, which is available not only on CDI, but also on Amiga CD32. What does this system offer more than the standard Amiga computer? Amiga CD32 is uh, the world's first 32-bit CD-based games console, and it combines CD technology, which allows um, wonderful graphics, wonderful um, movie animation, and so on. And welcome to the second version of the Guinness Disc of Records! This is indeed a wonderful program, full of the most interesting facts about our universe, our world, and the creatures and people who inhabit it. <laughs> Wormington and Oda. Twisted is a game for the new 3DO machine. We've been hearing a lot about this, but will 3DO offer anything more than enhanced games? Ooh, that's gotta hurt. 3DO is a, a, a new kind of audiovisual equipment that actually does many different things. So the same machine that can play these really advanced CD games also plays your music CDs and you can get graphics on screen with those. And it also can play uh, video uh, that's digital video on CDs and, and uh, Kodak photo CDs. And so it's got a whole variety of uh, different uses. All very well, but offering games, films and music does sound very similar to the CDI, the Amiga CD32 or a combination of both. And talking of 32-bit technology, Sega's working on a new 32-bit system called the Saturn that's set to hit the shops next year. So what is that? The Saturn's a multimedia machine that Sega will be launching next year. Um, its specifications aren't finalised yet, and I can't talk much more about it. Well, no luck there, but is that the complete picture? <laughs> Let's turn our attention from CD to console. Atari, who first led the games world with games like Pong and hardware like the 400, claimed that they're set to do it again with the Jaguar. So what's that? It's the most advanced video game available today. 64-bit technology, true color, CD quality sound, a phenomenal machine. But Atari aren't the only ones producing 64-bit technology. Nintendo are set to release their 64-bit system called Project Reality. The basis of this will be silicon graphics. Project Reality is the culmination of years of new technology work, which is basically a 64-bit machine that we're planning to launch for home use in 1995, the back end of 1995. It's going to be aided immensely by our partnership with a company called Silicon Graphics which is a famous US software company that have produced all the effects that you've seen in the likes of Jurassic Park and Terminator 2. So it's really going to be quite a powerful games platform. All this new technology sounds brilliant, but hardware won't sell if the software isn't there to support it. So will we see new software or just conversions of existing games on other formats? The software is available now, and uh, we have a range of, of software available for it, really in four principal categories, family entertainment or children's, uh, we have what we call home entertainment, which tends to be special interest in music products. Uh, we have uh, all a complete number of digital video titles, movies from Paramount uh, and soon to be MGM and some other Hollywood studios. Uh, we also have a number of music videos uh, coming out. Whilst we have around 80 titles available today, a lot of those titles are Amiga-based titles. However, 
for us to start to see the real games that uh, use CD32 to its best advantage, you're talking about products coming out from September and October of this year. When the uh, 3DO product first came out six months ago, there was very little software. But we've just in the last month gotten some really great titles that have come out for it. And there's about five new games that are really good coming out every month. So this fall, when 3DO is introduced into uh, the United Kingdom, there will be probably 40 good software titles ready for it, mostly uh, really good games, but also some really good educational software for kids and some good information and reference products. There are 120 licensees now, third-party people making software for the, for the Jaguar. So there'll be a lot of software for the, for the system. Well, there's no easy way around this maze. It seems software's the key to whether or not a piece of hardware will succeed or fail. And here on Movies, Games and Videos, we'll keep featuring the very latest developments and let you know what we think's the best value for money.